In this video, I'm going to show you how to get into any Windows computer if you may have forgotten your password, or maybe you have a friend or a relative that's locked themselves out. Doesn't matter what the case is, I'm going to show you how to get in. This could be a local account, Active Directory account, even a Microsoft account or a Microsoft online account. It doesn't matter. If you can get to that login screen, I'm going to get you in. All right, this is a follow-up video to a very popular video I did recently on how to get into a Windows PC if you lost your password. I had some comments, though, asking about, well, I tried it, but I can't reset my Microsoft Online account. As you can see, I'm poking around here. This is a Microsoft account, and there is no local account. I don't have any option in the bottom left to log in with a different account. I only set it up on purpose with one account, and that is a uh, Microsoft account. So what I did here is I attached the Ultimate USB version 2, which you can pick up on my shop, bootableusbs.com. I attached that to the VM, and now we're rebooting, and we're going to boot into that USB, and I'm going to show you how you can easily get into a computer that's set up for a Microsoft account in a matter of seconds. All right, the first method is using tools. So this is my bootable USB that I sell on my shop, bootableusbs.com. This is the ultimate USB version two. As you'll see here, this thing is jam-packed with all kinds of categories, each one jam-packed with all kinds of cool utilities, ISOs, OSs, you name it, you can do it on this USB. Today, we're just using a small sliver of the capabilities of this thing. We're gonna boot into a WinPE environment, one of my favorites, OnkTech, one of my favorites at the moment. I am also, by the way, guys, working on constructing my own WinP environment. So keep your eyes out for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when I drop that. But yeah, we'll let this boot up and we'll see all the tools we have at our disposal. And again, this is just one ISO in this jam-packed USB. All right, once OnkTech loads up, go ahead and hit the security there in that right panel. Drop that down. You're going to select your Windows Login Unlocker utility. And since the IT Unicorn account is the only active one, that, and that is associated, excuse me, with a Microsoft Online account, really can't do much with that. So we're going to create a new account, and that'll give us access to the system. So you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine Unlocker Man. Hit OK. And there you go. So now you have an account called Unlocker Man, and it's all automatically in the administrator's group. So you're good to go. Uh, it's not locked out and it's not disabled by default. So you can do a reset unlock just for good measure. That's all fine and dandy. So this by default will have no password. And all you have to do is click log in once we reboot. Go ahead and hit restart here. And as long as we don't boot from the USB again, that'll bring us right back to the Windows 11 login screen. All right, there we are, Windows 11 login screen. Notice something a little different here now. If you look at the bottom left, we have another choice. So we have the uh, Microsoft account, which is my name, and then we have the Unlocker Man. We click on that and just click Sign In. It's going to take us right into the operating system. All right, I'm going to speed this up 10 or 15x or so. Since it's the first login, it's going to build the profile for that user. Uh, once we're in there, we can go ahead and look at computer management and just validate that that new account is there, obviously is since we can log in. And in fact, it's part of that administrator's group. So if we go to groups, well, there's the user first. And then if we check that user's um, member of, you see that he is a member of the administrator's group. So with those admin rights, we can go in there and just recover any files or anything that we need from any other profile in the system that you may have lost the password to, such as a Microsoft account. All right, that wraps up the first way to do it. That is the easy way. That's kind of like kicking the door in, so to speak. The next way is a little more tricky. It's kind of like a lock pick type of scenario as opposed to kicking a door in. Uh, this would be a scenario where you left your USB at home, the ultimate USB. I would never leave home without it, though. Just, just saying. All right, let's jump into the second method. All right, for demonstration purposes, I have normalized the system and now the Damien account, the Microsoft online account is the only account on there again. So all we're going to do in this case to start is hold down the shift key and then go ahead and select the power button and restart. Hold down the shift key until you see please wait and a little spinning arrow at the bottom right there. So once that starts spinning, you can let go. This will take us into a recovery mode. So this will say choose an option. Here, I'm going to zoom in here since this is not full screen. I'm going to go to troubleshoot. And from there, we'll select 
advanced options, and then we're going to select the command prompt. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. First thing we need to do here is type in C colon. That'll bring us to the C drive. By default, you're in the X. And then CD space, that's to change directories, to Windows, and then System32. All right, now that we're in the correct directory, we need to make a backup of a utility called utilman.exe. So just do copy utilman.exe, and then you can name the backup whatever you want. I'm going to do utilmanbackup.exe. What we're doing here, guys, is we're going to essentially allow us to launch a command prompt at that login window. So now we're going to copy cmd.exe to utilman.exe. So the system still thinks it's the utilman.exe, which is like the little accessibility icon when you go to the login screen, but it's going to launch an administrator command prompt. And that's obviously going to give us access to do things from a command line level. So now that we've done that, we can just exit, reboot the PC, or hit continue, which will boot into Windows 11. And once this logs up to the uh, login screen, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we still only have the one account to log into. There's no, at the bottom left, there's no option to log in as a different user. But if we click on the accessibility icon, instead of the util man, now we get a command prompt. So this is where we can really manipulate the system. We're gonna do a uh, net user, and this will give us options of what that command can do. Essentially, we can create a new account, we can reset a password, we can make that account an administrator, and that's really all we need to do, and then we can log in. So let's go ahead and do net user, and this will list out the current users. So then we can do net user add, and then just add your new user, whatever you want to call it. Let's do unlocker man two. And if we do net user again, we'll see that that user does exist. All right, now that we have that user created, let's go ahead and make them an administrator. We'll do net space local group space administrators, which is the name of the group. And then we need to do the username, which is unlockerman2 in my case. And then we'll do a space forward slash add, and that adds them to the administrators group. All right, now let's make sure this account is active. Just to be safe, we can do a net space user space the username unlocker man two in my case and then we'll do a forward slash active colon yes and now we're sure that account is not disabled and it's active all right and the last thing we'll do is set a password for this user so we'll do net space user space the user account name again which in my case is unlocker man two and then we'll space and we'll go ahead and type in a password here for this user and you hit enter, and that'll set the password. So now you have a new user, you made him an administrator, you made sure it was active, and you set a password. We are ready to reboot and get into this system. Let's do it. All right, now that the system has been rebooted, we can go ahead and get to the login screen and look at that. We have that extra account there, the Unicorn Man 2, that we just created through that method of the command prompt trickery. Let's type in that password that you just set with the net user command and go ahead and get logged in. All right, that new account has logged in. We are ready to go. Let's just validate, in fact, that we are part of the administrators group. And again, there it is, Unlocker Man 2. We have access to do whatever we want on the system. If that's, you know, recover files from a locked out Microsoft account, whatever the case may be, you have access to the entire system, obviously, as an administrator. Thanks so much for checking out the video, guys. If you got any kind of value out of this at all, whether that's entertainment, education, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps the video a lot. Feel free to share this with your friends. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me a lot. I'm trying to get to 10,000 this year, so your help is very much appreciated if you subscribe. All right, last thing I wanted to do is just show you the USB that I used for the demo today. So that first part where we use that utility and it made it super easy to get into uh, our locked out Microsoft um, instance of Windows 11 in this case, but it would work again on 7, 8, 10, doesn't matter, was the Ultimate USB version 2. I've got six different USBs. Get over there and check them out, guys. Bootableusbs.com. But the USB, uh, excuse me, the Ultimate USB version 2 is the best USB ever made as of right now. I'm actually working on a new one, but I'm not going to talk about that just yet. I did a whole video on this as well. I'll link that for you guys if you want more information on the Ultimate USB V2. 
but this thing is just jam packed. It's it's not cheap hardware either. This is a USB 3.2 Gen 2 and it has so much stuff on it. I mean, it's got 11 categories. I'll just scroll here. Antivirus, desktop OS, forensics, games, hypervisors, multi-tools. That's what we we're looking at. Networking, pen testing and offensive security, privacy and security, server OSs, and just random tools here. So there's like 57 bootable images and 11 categories. Everything you'd ever need. Uh, you can take it with you wherever you go. So consider checking it out, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, thank you so much for checking it out. I hope you all have a great day. Until the next one, take care.